Hi folks. On our way back into the backcountry to replace some of the salt blocks the other day, Barb and I noticed White Spirit and his band out in the willows, which is a typical spot for him to show up this time of year. And this is where he's likely to hang out for the next few months. The reason is, is that the bog firms up after freeze up and they can get out there and walk on the soft ground because it's actually kind of firmed up now. Anyway, this particular video is going to highlight one of the colts in his band, the one we called Steel. He's kind of an incredible little fella because he's changed colors about three times already at his young age. We're not exactly sure what color he's going to end up, but I'm suspecting now from the looks of it, he could end up as a gorilla. He's just a fabulous little colt and I think he's going to be everybody's new heartthrob. So as you know, we've been kind of conditioning White Spirits Band for about seven years now with the drone. Steel and uh, his little filly over there, we called uh, Gypsy Rose. They're both becoming familiar with Sparky because if the parents don't run, then they don't feel they have a need to run. As you can see, Sparky's getting in pretty close. We're using the sun to our advantage here. Here comes his dad. He's going to get him to move here a little bit and get in closer with the crowd. getting over close to his little filly there, uh, we call Gypsy Rose. This is kind of interesting. I have no idea what that was all about. I guess he just gets excited when he has a pee. So we named this little girl Gypsy Rose. Uh, mostly because I guess she just moves around a lot and she's got that really nice looking star on her forehead that kind of reminds me of a rose. So that'll be her name. And as you can see, Sparky gets in pretty close here. A lot of folks, you know, when they're training their horses at home and conditioning them, they wave flags around and throw tarps over their backs and all kinds of different things, which of course we don't do with wild horses. But I've been conditioning this band now for about seven years. There's actually three stallions in this band. And the real dark bay stallion um, actually took over the band for a couple of years. And then White Spirit took back over about a year and a half ago. And he is definitely the one in charge, even though there are two other stallions in the band. So one thing, you know, that's interesting, a lot of people do complain about the population of wild horses out in the backcountry. Hunters don't like them very much and the ranchers don't like them very much. But you know, when they let their cattle out through the summer for grazing, the reason the government allows cattle to graze out in the backcountry is to uh, control vegetation to reduce the risk of wildfires. Well, guess what the wild horses are doing? As they eat down all of this excess vegetation, they're doing exactly the same thing, reducing the possibility of wildfires. So they have a very, very important function that we should not overlook. You're just a great looking old stallion there, White Spirit. Just hope you've got many more years with us. He's become quite the icon of the wild horses in Alberta. So we're starting to notice a lot more of the bands heading down towards this uh, end of the valley and uh, They'll probably spend most of the winter down around this part now because they can get out on the willows, like I said, and uh, get a lot of the grass they couldn't get to in the summertime. 
They spend a lot of time up in the poplars and the cottonwoods here. That offers them pretty good protection, yet through the winter winds and the blowing snow. So now I'm going to fly over top of these horses because it doesn't really bother them that much, as you'll see. And I'm going to highlight that little colt that we call Steel. There's another look at Gypsy Rose. And number 13, Collared Mare, which we've never named. Barb says we've got to name that mare. Can't keep calling her number 13 all the time, but that's her mom. Well, now Steel says, oh boy, here comes that annoying bird again. But I know I'm not supposed to be scared of him because my dad's not running, my mom's not running. So just watch now how I kind of condition him as I come in very, very slowly and just inch my way in. He knows it's there and he knows what's happening. He's seen the drone before. And it definitely has a noise to it, which they are familiar with. They can hear it coming from quite a ways away. And he's uh, tolerating it pretty good. And I watch very closely. I watch their body language and I watch their nervousness. And if I see them getting extremely nervous, I just either stop or back up a bit. There's a little bit of nervousness right there. So his ears are on high alert. He's listening to every move Sparky makes. He can only see a portion of it out of the one eye. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move around so that he can actually see me with both eyes. That'll make him feel a bit better when he actually has a better view of what's going on. Now he's actually got the curiosity look. Now he's going to look over to see if mom or white spirit or anybody else is getting alarmed and they're not so he doesn't get alarmed everybody else is still grazing so this can't be such a bad event you know folks a lot of our wild uh, horse photographers have got extremely expensive equipment and they go out and get gorgeous, beautiful pictures. But when we're coming in to the back country and we see these guys a half a mile away off in the willows, that's a place where the other photographers just cannot get pictures like this. So we send Sparky over and we can get some phenomenal pictures that basically you just couldn't get driving by with a camera. You have to admit this is pretty exceptional to be able to come in on a wild colt like this. Before we're done here, I'm going to be up within uh, two meters of him with the camera on full zoom. This little camera on this drone takes 4K video. It's a pretty incredible little unit. Now you can see Steel is really not that alarmed. His stress level has gone down about 50%. And he's kind of curious now. The other day I had him and Gypsy Rose come up with their noses almost touching it. What a beautiful little colt. Like I said, I think he's going to become the new heartthrob of the band for sure. So now I'm going to start backing off here and just watch his eyes relax. Watch this. Look at that. He's almost going to fall asleep now. So what I've just shown him is that I can come in very, very close. It doesn't hurt. And then it's pressure on, pressure off. And all of a sudden now he feels the pressure off and he's just going to totally relax and maybe even have a little nap.
So there's a few other bands up in the north end of the valley that aren't nearly as uh, conditioned with Sparky yet. But we're working with them and uh, they're coming around. You see, the thing is, this really doesn't habituate them to people because they don't know where I am. You know, I'm almost half a mile away from them and they don't associate Sparky with us or with the people. They just consider that that annoying bird that shows up from time to time. But look at this beautiful area that they graze in now for the winter. So that road in the background, that's the one that we use to get into the backcountry. We go in uh, about 25 kilometers on that particular road and it's, uh, it's a backcountry road, it's a bush road. But right now it's just beat to death with road hunters. The traffic on it has just been insane. But this is wild horse country, folks. And as I bring Sparky in for a landing, I'm just going to take a look up to the north end of the valley here with you. And you can see that they're going to have lots to graze on here for the next few months, both in the bush and down in the willows. So look at how this bush road is beat right down to the it's just smooth from tire traffic from the road hunters. Thank goodness, three more days and then we'll get back to being normal again. There's another video from Haas, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll catch you on the next one.